Ntuzer.dat is an important system file which is present in every Windows operating system. In this Buzzle post, we shall learn more about this system file. Did you know? Historically, Windows 9598s did not employ the multiple user profiling scheme. This scheme, which has now become a standard part of the Windows OS, was first used in Windows NT. Microsoft knew that even though you might like Al Pacino, one of your loved ones might prefer Marlon Brando instead. That's why they designed the Windows OS such that, among other things, both of you can have different desktop wallpapers of your favorite celebrities on the same computer. But how did they do this? Through separate user profiles, of course. The Windows OS employs a method of keeping individual preferences and settings different for different users. This allows each one of them to have a computer usage experience that is truly personal. The Ntuzer.dat file is an important part of this method. Let's go ahead and find out what it is, and further examine some of its important aspects. What is an Ntuzer.dat file? Windows allows the creation of different, unique user profiles. Each of these user profiles contains a particular user's personal settings and preferences, such as desktop settings, browsing history, and a unique documents folder. An Ntuzer.dat file is generated by Windows for every new user profile that is created on the system. It contains the registry entries of each individual user, and is essential for the Windows OS. Ntuzer.dat contains a user's personalized settings for the majority of software installed on the computer, including those of Windows itself. Thus, its size is basically dependent on the activity of the user. If the user installs a lot of big software programs on the system, the size of the Ntuzer.dat file will be more. What does the Ntuzer.dat file do? Ntuzer.dat files are registry files. Each one of them contains specific registry settings for a user's individual account. In Windows, the registry is a central hierarchical database that contains information regarding the software, hardware, and the different user profiles present in the computer. When the Windows OS is running, it constantly needs to refer to its registry files for completing its various operations. When the user logs in, the Ntuzer.dat gets combined with the computer's registry, into the key underscore current underscore user branch of the Windows registry tree. Location and visibility windows creates and stores the Ntuzer.dat file in that user's user folder. The following are the different locations of this file in the different Windows operating systems. For Windows 2000, XP, C, Username. For Windows Vista slash 7 slash 8 slash 8.1, C, Username underscore folder. However, the Ntuzer.dat file is a hidden file. And therefore, you won't be able to find it unless you alter your folder option settings to show hidden files. For this, press Windows plus E to open Windows Explorer. Click on Organize on the ribbon bar. Then click on Folder and Search Options. In the Folder Options window that opens, click on the View tab. Then select Show Hidden Files, Folders and Drives option in the Advanced Settings pane and click on OK. You should now be able to see the Ntuzer.dat file for your user profile. A few words on deletion for each user profile, Windows creates some unique folders, including documents, desktop, etc. In these folders, Windows stores the specific preferred files that the particular user uses. Notice how the files stored on the desktop are different for different users. In a similar fashion, the Ntuzer.dat file contains specific registry settings for a particular user. If it were to be deleted, the particular user's individual settings and preferences will be lost. This may corrupt the user's profile. Hence, the Ntuzer.dat file is normally locked and hidden to keep it safe from accidental deletion. However, there may arise a situation when the user account associated with an Ntuzer.dat file won't be required anymore. In such a case, the Ntuzer.dat file can be safely deleted, 
allowing you to free up some space in your computer. The following procedure shows you how to delete the user.dat file associated with a redundant account. Step 1. Unhide the user.dat file, as described in the above section. Step 2. In the Users folder, right click on the now visible user.dat file, and select Delete. Step 3. A confirmation box will pop up asking whether you are sure about your choice for deletion. Click on Yes to delete the user.dat file. By using this method, you can very well delete the user.dat file. However, it is still advisable to instead delete the entire redundant user profile associated with it, using the following procedure. Step 1. Go to Start and right-click on Computer. Click on Properties to open up the System window. In the left pane, click on Advanced System Settings. This will open up the System Properties window. Step 2. Click on the Advanced tab. Under Other Profiles, click on Settings. This will open a new window listing all the user profiles in the computer. Select the user profile which you want to remove and click on Delete. An user.dat file is an important Windows system file which is responsible for maintaining the unique settings and configurations for each individual user profile. It is best not to try editing or deleting this file, as doing so would lead to the corruption of the user profile. Only if the associated user profile has become redundant, should you consider deleting this file.